Hello everybody and welcome to Nail Talk Live, another evening of nails, inspiration, nail art, and especially today we have a very specific nail art that yeah. we're going to show you. A really cool nail art. A really cool, a little I bit love funky it. nail yeah, art. I love that. Yeah. Abstract. Abstract. Yeah. Geometrical. Yeah. Sometimes symmetrical. So in other words, sharp lines mm -hmm. and not too much ornamentation. No, no. Really clean uh, nail art. I really love it, but it can be really difficult. Yeah. Why is it difficult? Well, because you need to practice, and practice makes perfect. Fine lines, lines uh, are difficult to yeah. make when you do not know uh, with, uh, which product you can work with or with uh, which brush. And uh, you need to know uh, and, and follow your heart and yeah. find your perfect brush. Yeah. yeah. The combination of the brush with the product is very important, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, because uh, we have synthetic brushes and we have real hair brushes. Yeah. Real hair has a tendency to sweep more. Which while is perfect for curls, curls and uh, Baroque designs yeah. and faces. Beautiful. And mm -hmm. But a synthetic hair brush has a tendency to stay more together when you work with it. So it is easier to create a sharp line with this. Yeah. Symmetrical art is the, the most difficult oh, yeah. because then you have to make the same on the left side as you do on the right side. Or you do with both hands the same. <laughs> yeah, well, that's something yeah. for you to do, I think. <laughs> I have to go to one of your classes. <laughs> and of course, uh, choose your brush wisely because if you want to make long uh, lines, mm -hmm. would you do that with a short brush or with a short hair or longer hairs? Well, I think most people will choose the short hair brush because they think they will have more control yeah. but actually it's more difficult with a yeah. shorter brush you need a long brush mm -hmm. yeah. so yeah we both know of course yeah because we like nail art mm -hmm. but for you we have a full show with all about abstract art let's get started And of course, we are joined tonight with, uh, by our trainers again, mm -hmm. Sharisa and Linda. Welcome, guys. Hello. Nice Hello. that you're here. And both of you also created a nail art design for tonight, mm -hmm. abstract. Do you do a lot of abstract art, Linda? Yes, I do it quite often because I really like to do it. And Sharisa? No, not that much. <laughs> 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 no, I'm more of a, a technique freak. So uh, for me, the nail art is uh, when somebody really wants to have something on their nails. Okay, and I love to do it, but I'm not that great. So sometimes. <laughs> well, we do have, of course, have uh, videos and demonstrations of the both of you. And we mm -hmm. also have a great demo done by you. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is also abstract, but mm -hmm. almost bridal. Yeah, it was a bridal design, but I am not really... Well, I am feminine, but more um, tough, more... Yeah? Yeah, more rad. With an attitude? With an attitude. So this is a design, uh, yeah, with an attitude. Good that you mention it, because sometimes people may think that an abstract art is not uh, feminine. Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, it really is feminine, Yeah. but uh, with a little edge. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I love that. Yeah. yeah. Well, me too. <laughs> Anywho, let's get started with our first demonstration. Sharisa, you prepared this for last year. This is an abstract art made on an element nail, and of course the nail was already made, and uh, was a beautiful nail, and then you decided to do some abstract art on this. So, let's talk us through this. Let's see. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I start here with uh, uh, Pepin's Choice uh, uh, brush uh, because I want to make a very long, uh, fine line. Yes, that's also what we mentioned, hey, Jessica? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is a brush is ideal for long lines. What was the base color of this nail? Uh, I thought erotic decency, yeah. Erotic and with decency. what are the lines made? Uh, here I only have the uh, liner gel black. Mm -hmm. But now my first choice would be a mix between the liner gel black and Sriza Sweetie's color gel. 
uh, because that makes it a little bit more um, uh, thin, so it's easier to work with. Yeah, it makes it more viscous. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and now are you are doing a blending, an ombre, or...? Yes, and I'm using a gel polish. Don't ask me which color, because I don't remember anymore. But I take the Detailer 3, because I want to fill up uh, a, a large piece of the nail. And you cured the black lines in between? Um, no, not for okay. now. I want to make hmm. an ombre. Okay. So I... So you're not uh, uh, scared to touch the black lines? Now? Oh, the black lines are yeah. cured, of oh, course. Okay. Yes, okay. yes, the okay. black lines are yeah. cured It walls it in. Yes. yes, it walls it in yes. then. And so you do in two applications. This yes. Uh, in between you cured it because, uh, because you want more uh, color intensity. Yes, yes. And from the bottle, uh, it's easier to have uh, uh, full coverage of the color. But when you uh, use the Detailer 3, it's, um, yeah, it's difficult to... Uh, yeah. Yeah, because you have to apply it thinly. Yes, yes. yes you yes. cured it and now you start your design. Yes, and I think I have um, uh, Jessica's choice brush over here. Oh no, Depends. still pep, still Peppins <laughs> brush. Yes, or it's also because of uh, because of it's uh, they have there are long lines yeah. still. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's I quite a long nail brush. that you're making this. Yes, on. and now shorter. So you're using yes. Jessica's brush. Yeah. Your brush. brush. Your brush. <laughs> and this is kind of like a leaf shape that you're making. Uh, yes, yes. It looks like, uh, yeah, how you say that in English? Um, a like braid. Better? A braid. A braid, yes. Yeah, yeah. a braid. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's better. Thank you. <laughs> so with this uh, brush, it's easier. And you turn the hand of your client around so that yes. you have control when you apply the other side. Yeah, and it's the same uh, design, only from uh, the bottom to the top. And of course, some highlights. Yes, I like this design. Yeah, it's yeah, cool. it's really easy. That's why I like it. And <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, and when you use the right brushes, uh, everybody can make this. Well, it doesn't look easy. So no, it's but it's cool. easy. You yeah. you only need a steady hand and uh, the right brush and a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you have to make sure that you start correctly, otherwise That's it true. <laughs> gets yeah. lost. You have to think about this before you make it. Yeah, and then I use the. I think. Um, Oh, no, the mop top. The extreme <laughs> the mop extreme top, top gel. Extreme, yes. The cool thing with the extreme mop top gel is that it actually uh, flattens the design a little bit visually. Yep. When it's shiny, it's, it's more 3D, and with mm -hmm. the extreme mop, it flattens it a little bit. True. That then you can, more, yeah, you can appreciate more the other design. Yeah. 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 Knowing your products is key to everything. So knowing which gel polishes you're using, which brush, uh, which um, top gel, because the top gel makes a lot of difference. Mm -hmm. And of course, then you are able to create everything, even though, Shirisa, of course, you have to prepare yourself when you make something like this, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, really. Because you know uh, which way to go. And that's very important with this design. So try it before, maybe on a tip or maybe on a piece of paper, what you prefer. And then uh, you know how to make this on a nail. Uh, Linda, do you prepare your designs also by doing it on paper or preparing tips or does it come naturally? Um, no, it depends. Most of the times when I'm uh, designing something new, then I will practice on the color pops mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, things that I have made before, of course, then I just, I already know how to make it and, and what I'm going to make. So it's more easy just to put it on a nail. But if I'm trying something new, I always start with the color pops. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Me too. Yeah. I have a lot of. I call them my babies. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of babies at home in my salon. Yeah. A lot of color pops. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. But do you always first start on the tip, or do you think sometimes let's get a piece of paper and let's draw out? What I do I'm that too, and um, uh, even on nails. Yeah. It depends. Yeah. Uh, it also depends, of course, on the skill level. Yeah. When your skill is very high, when you have a lot of technical. Uh, capacity like you have then you're able to do that immediately on the nail mm -hmm. but in the while you are developing your skills sometimes it's easier to do it on the tip yeah. just to make sure that you know where you're going yeah. because yeah. sometimes you make mistakes I know I've been there and then you think it's a flower and it ends like something else but that's <laughs> not important um, we also asked Julia Vorobieva to create an abstract design Ooh. so I think we all are going to enjoy this of course so let's have a look
gel polish, ego tripping, one of our summer colors of the last year, applied on a tip. And now we are using one of the seduction gel polishes. And she's just... Oh, wet and wet, I think. Oh, wet and wet. Wet and wet and almost invisible. I love the technique. Yeah. The wet and wet technique. Yeah, it's quite yeah. easy to do. When you're a beginner and you want to make some nail art, if you start with um, wet on wet, it's really good to do. Yeah, that's absolutely true. You also do a lot of wet on wet, huh, Charissa? Yeah, I love that. Because it's very, uh, you don't know exactly what's happening on the nail, but still there is something... Uh, Soft and hidden. Yes. And it's quite fast as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's fast and you can create floral designs, abstract designs, a reptile skin, and a, a animal skin. So now she's adding a top gel. And she did a wet and wet in the, in the square as well. Oh, yeah. This is really the amazing thing of Julia Vorobieva. You also expect something with lines and with uh, geometrical, but she takes it really to another level. Writing on the tip, hey, Jessica, that brings back memories. Oh, yes, <laughs> the alphabet. That yeah. was so difficult. But good training to practice. Detailer one. Detailer one, yeah. We are again almost uh, silent yeah. while we, we are, are enjoying what she's making. Really an awe about... Yeah, because it's really out of the box. It's a box on the nail, but it's out of the box. <laughs> okay. Silver leaf. Just sticking it on. Yeah. And now extreme it. Okay. Covering the whole nail. The background is filling really in. Out. Yeah. Fast line in gel. Yeah, that's cool. To make really sharp, straight lines. Yeah. You can use fast line in gel. And she's using a yeah. brush. That's a good idea mm -hmm. to do that with fast liner gel because then it becomes a straight line yeah. buff. It can be a little bit messy though when you work with fast liner gel, but as you can see Julia doing, she it's definitely not messy. I've seen no. people working with this and then everything is covered yeah. by fast liner yeah. gel except yeah. the nail. <laughs> Very small applications. And I think because she's using a brush, it, it's more thin then as well. Yeah, I also think so. Oh, well, we have to try this. Yeah, yeah. This is nice. I can make nail art like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, that's cool. Yeah, very it's smart really to cool. do that with the fast line. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Julia. Of Julia. course, f follow Julia on Facebook and on Instagram for more of her very special designs. Talking about the wet and wet technique, because of course, um, we mentioned that while we were watching the video. You did a great wet and wet technique also in the last season, eh? With the mud, oh yeah, the mud yeah, that gel. was cool, huh? Yeah, you had yeah. to think a little bit about yeah. what it was, but wow, that yeah. was really amazing. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, with our uh, looking uh, through the glass, huh? Yeah. No, through the looking glass <laughs> polishes. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. always mix up those words. Yeah. yeah, but what you did was you used uh, through the looking glass yeah. just colors. I did an ombre. Did not cure, and then um, uh, took some uh, extreme matte top and dropped onto that ombre and then cured. And then you have the drops matte and all the lines are shiny. It's really cool. Yeah, that was Try an it. amazing, amazing design. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Anywho, mm -hmm. uh, let's get to our social media personality of Neil Talk Live. That's, of course, Sylvana, and she has a very special thing to show us. Yes, I have uh, something extreme today. Uh, you know, there are di for everything you have world records and also for nails. So I have two different kinds of uh, world records. Let's see the first one. Uh, first, oh I have God. a man. I'm going to play it. He's from India and he holds the record for the longest fingernails on one single hand. 
Oh my god. Um, he was 14 when he um, started to grow them. And um, his nails are combined a total length of nine meters long. It's bizarre, right? Um, so, and the second one, um, we have this uh, boy, no, it's a man. Um, he has the longest nail extensions. So, um, he is from USA and he created them. It's um, one nail is 1.2 meters long. It's really extreme, I think. He's jumping and anything. So um, I know you all like extreme shapes, but what do you think about this? Sarisa? Yeah, well, what I think <laughs> about this? <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, I have no words. <laughs> <laughs> I have no words, Ivana. Thank you for this video. <laughs> it's a little bit too extreme. No, it's too extreme. And in the first person, I think it's just horrible because I, it's, it's, it cannot be clean. And the second one, okay, I think the next question is in order. How do you wipe your... <laughs> hmm? Yeah, that's not possible, I think. So, no, I don't like it. No, yeah. I will never grow my nails that long. But let's get back to Pepijn. Yeah, you mentioned, Silvana, that the nails were 1.2 meters long, I believe. Yeah, the nail extension. 1.2 meters long. That means the man was very short because he was ha holding the nails here. And yes. it was, uh, <laughs> so perhaps he had to compensate something. I don't know, but <laughs> at least it's a, a world record and world records are there <coughs> to be made. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. But the long no. nails was really... Um, icky. Ew. Yeah. yeah, a little bit And they icky. curl. Like mm. yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. Of course, they do. But, th but I mean that man has one hand short. So, Surisa? True. That answers he your does question. His nose. True. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But let's get into <laughs> abstract nail art, yeah. of course. Um, yeah. Uh, the next up is our own Linda, and she prepared something that you called an Aztec design. What is an Aztec design, Linda? It's an abstract design. And uh, you can s you also see it in fashion uh, these days. And uh, I saw it in the summer dresses, or you can see it on pillows. And I thought that would be great on nails. So I tried it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aztec is, of course, from South America. It's, it is it's symmetrical ancient. also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's quite a difficult design to make. Mm -hmm. And I was really impressed when Linda showed us how to do this. So let's check out her video. I did the background with uh, nude pink and I um, uh, finished it with extreme matte top gel. Yeah. And uh, when I make the, um, the lines, I mix the liner gel black uh, together with the color gel Surreal Sweeties. And is there a reason why you uh, covered it with extreme matte top gel? Yeah, for me it's more easy to, uh, to paint the line. Mm -hmm. And then it, the line stays sharp. When I do it on a sticky layer, the line may uh, walk a little bit, so mm -hmm. it's not yeah. sharp. Yeah, yeah. yeah. stay in place. And again, you are using Pepin's Choice. Yes, because I make the long lines and yeah. then I prefer the long uh, brush. That's yeah, a smart way. If you make a design like this, Linda, and something goes wrong, do you think to yourself, I'm going to correct it or remove a line and do it again? Because uh, in my opinion, it actually magnifies uh, potential difficult or, or problems in the design. Yeah, then I will start over again. Yeah. But I, I, we have the polish corrector yeah. pen and uh, of course it's for correcting the nail polish when you uh, polished your skin instead of the nail. But then uh, also for correcting your designs, it's really... Uh, yeah. It's great. Nice. I use the polish yeah. corrector also a lot. You do as well, actually. Oh. Yeah. All the time. And now I am painting uh, some... Um, uh, spaces? Areas. Areas, thank you. And I mixed the, the chrome pigment uh, together with the top gel. It doesn't matter, uh, matter which one you use. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you cured in between the black lights? Yes, yeah. yes, of course, yeah. Oh, this is also extreme matte. Yes, and now I wipe it off with the uh, prep and wipe, and it's really important to do it, because I'm using uh, chrome pigments later on, and if you don't wipe uh, the extreme matte, yeah. uh, you will get a shiny nail. Thank you, Jessica, for this tip. <laughs> <laughs> and your glove is really important yeah. as well. Eh? You need to warm it up and then you can remove 
uh, the curl yes. where you don't want to have it. And you're adding, and these lines are also made with a mixture of liner gel black and Charista Sweeties? Yes, I always use the mixture, every time again. And now I'm just um, repainting some lines, yeah. uh, which I wa would like to have to shine. And, and how long did you cure this? Uh, about 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then you massage in the chrome? Yes. Now I understand your remark about the glove. Now I'm using the Magic Shine top coat because I'm working with the Magic Pigments. I prefer to use the Magic Shine mm -hmm. uh, so, my, so I can make the lines uh, shiny and it stays on the nail. Mm -hmm. On top of the nail, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So the background is matte yeah. mm -hmm. and then your lines are shiny. That's cool. And also when I'm doing designs like this, I have a design in my head. Mm -hmm. So I know what to make, but always when I'm doing it, I'm like, Oh, I can do something here. I no, can add I can something imagine. here. Mm. I can do this. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. Difficult to stop, huh? Yeah. yeah. I know that feeling, yes. Yeah. I think that's the beauty part of it. Yeah. yeah. Every mm. nail is a new adventure. Yes, yes. Every nail art is a new adventure. That makes it uh, now also so enjoyable. Yeah. yeah, true. Now I'm adding some, adding some white lines. And it's also a mixture from the liner gel white with the Cerisa <laughs> Sweeties uh, color gel. The white one, of course. Does it have a sticky layer when you mix liner gel white and Charissa Sweeties? Because Charissa Sweeties, of course, named after Charissa, doesn't have a, a sticky layer after curing. It has a tiny bit of a sticky layer. So tiny, you need to tiny, tiny, tiny. Bit. Clean it. Yeah. But when you clean it, it is shiny. Yes. Yeah. And if you do it only with your liner gel, which has a teeny tiny sticky layer, it will go matte. Nice. And some other oh. designs Somebody are made. Somebody went nice. crazy. <laughs> also, the color is. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Cool. those are yeah. All, those are all the colorful chromes. Nice. Ooh. Love yeah, of the course you, you heard Linda mention the colorful chromes. That are our magnetic chrome powders that you can mix in gels or you can use on full a cover. Full mm -hmm. cover. You can use. It was a huge trend a couple of years ago, yeah. of course. Yeah. And uh, still there, but I prefer it in a design like this. Thank you, Linda. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank Beautiful. you. Uh, the design that you just s saw, we videoed for Nail Talk Live, the Dutch version of this program. And we're going to go into more of that also later on, showing you these videos. Yeah. In French manicure, you can also go abstract. Yeah, you can. You can and go that is what you a little did. bit edgy. Yeah. 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 And I used uh, uh, stamping. I'm, I'm, well, let's see. Yeah. 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 Let's check it out. Yeah. So I'm using the air nails maskings to create uh, my Is this French. the deep French or the salon French? I love the deep French, yeah. So now I am creating lines with my maskings on top of a, a nail plate extender and uh, the extreme matte top gel on top. So this is a liner gel. Yeah. And I'm filling up my plate, scraping it. And I want to have that uh, curly line Part, yeah. just in between those maskings. And because it's liner gel, it's not cured yet. So you can play with that liner gel and just adding some mermaid spray. Cool. And you can wear this on top of your nail. So like a sugar effect. Yeah. And I like it I'm already. Yeah. yeah. Creating uh, yeah. lines with the Jessica's. Uh, choice brush. Well, I tried to do stamping the other day, but it didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it looks so easy when you do that. <laughs> as everything. And creating a, a French line as well. And this, yeah, well, this is the abstract part. So I'm really creating uh, double lines and filling that part up. Yeah. You see these these kinds of designs uh, a lot. And which gel are you now using? Is it gel polish? Uh, no, no, the um, Charissa's of the liner gel, white. Yeah. Oh, because you're also going again, to sugar this. Yeah, I'm going to sugar it. But if you 
uh, want it just white, I would use uh, the mixture. Uh, Liner gel with the Cerise Sweeties color gel, of course. And then it's shiny white na border. That's cool as well. Oh, and oh. I did Strass, oh. Linda. Wow. Are you proud of me? Oh. <laughs> cool, huh? I really like this design. Oh, these designs I love the most. Oh, thank you. So, a little bit of uh, nice. feminine. Yeah, feminine, Early. but still with an edge. Yeah. And we saw you working with the sugar effect. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the reasons, Shiriza, why we came or you asked for the Shiriza yes. Sweeties color gels. Yeah. Can you mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that sugar effect? Yeah, sugar effects, it's the best thing to... Uh, uh, you can achieve that uh, from using uh, gel polish or something of gel without a sticky layer. So if you have the uh, Sriza Sweeties uh, color gels, you have all, all kind of colors and you just use the sugar powder, uh, throwing it in the Sweeties, in the Sriza Sweeties, and then, then you... Um, um, cure. Then you cure. Then you cure your nail and the uh, sugar is right on top. And it stays there for uh, three or four weeks. But it it's has to be a gel without a sticky layer. And with a color, it's even more beautiful and more easy to work with. So I really love the Sriza Sweeties. Mm -hmm. And Linda, do you do sugaring also? And if you do, with, with what kind of... Because Sriza mentioned the sugar look powder, but you can also use other products, I think. Uh, yes, it's possible. Um, I love sugaring with the mermaid powders. Um, they are really fine glitters and you, in every color you get a different effect. So for me, for example, Jessica, my favorite is the blue-green. <laughs> Ew, spray. I did not know that, <laughs> Linda. <laughs> <laughs> but y when you use it on a black uh, background, then you have a blue-green effect, of course. Mm. But also in a pink uh, gel polish, it's really great. Yeah. Mm. So And then you can sugar, but you can also finish it with top gel, but then it's not sugaring anymore. Mm -hmm. But that's also a great effect. Yeah, yeah. The trends, trends, trends. Yeah. People are using the products in ways quite different than they were meant for originally <laughs> but it wears beautiful and i have to say i love the contrast of the shine with the matte effect yeah. i love that yeah and playing with textures is really something yeah. that yeah. Uh, gives thing. an extra dimension to the art mm -hmm. anywho let's see what sylvana has in her social media items well hello i'm back um, of course a lot of nail art is inspired from real art um, i have this kind of art it's also abstract faces and um, I found some nail art inspired from this kind of here we have the first one it's also on our t-shirt I think second here we have also another with a little bit of more of color and for the last one Also, more color and not more, uh, not any more faces, but also a little bit abstract. Um, I would love to try it myself on a shorty. On a shorty, um, would you guys try it on yourself or on your clients, Linda? Yeah, I would try it. Yes, I like it. And how would you make it? Um, with a mixture of the liner gel uh, white uh, with the Cerise um, uh, Sweetest color gels, but we also have a stamping plate with some kind of these designs, yeah. with uh, faces of women with lines, so you can also stamp it. Yeah, I prefer stamping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's more I easy. I think yeah. so. <laughs> it's it's a it's a be best uh, tip for anyone who doesn't like to like really thin lines. It's good it, to use a stamping plate, but um, that was it for today. Um, I will see you next week. Yeah, well, this was really minimalistic. Yeah, mm -hmm. minimalistic. Is, is, uh, do yeah. you like that? Moi. Yeah, it's also for me, it's also a moi. Yeah. It's the complete trend. Yeah, it now is. It yeah. really is. Yeah, it's a complete yeah. trend now. For yeah. me, it's also a little bit that I think, mm, okay, strange, but uh, a lot of girls, young girls, wear these kinds of. Yeah, it's true. And I love it that more uh, on two nails than the whole set. So yeah. minimalistic. Yes, but then true. Yeah, yeah then true. it also needs to be minimalistically yeah. applied. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it's kind of yeah. straight. Yeah. That, that I would prefer to have a whole full yeah. nail art hand painted. But of course, Sharisa mentioned this is very popular with the youth, mm -hmm. with young people. And we are perhaps not that target audience anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you see it a lot. What you also see is something that was very popular on Instagram. Was it ju just nails with a few dots on it? Yeah. And yeah. that's already yeah. nail art nowadays. Yeah. 
Yeah. Or just squares or just one line or a uh, um, uh, uh, triangle. Yeah. yeah. But the nails it. have to be perfect. Perfect and clean. And, and clean. Mm -hmm. Mostly. Yeah. Yeah. Properly yeah. manicured. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's really mm -hmm. a trend, and I really love that. Yeah. Well, perhaps it's a good idea, now that we're talking about this, to do a show on minimalistic nail art. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be a short show, <laughs> but with <laughs> a lot of inspiration. Um, because, yeah, it's a new thing. You also see it on Stamping Place. What I do really love to do, uh, and you did that as well, you did a white base and then, like, graffiti background, yeah. and then a stamping on top of it. Yeah. That creates kind of a rough more artsy yeah. take yeah. on this minimalistic yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, it's more art. I love that. Yeah, we are just art people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. And, and we like high hair. <laughs> yeah, Anyhow, let's continue. Uh, Katerina also created a beautiful geometrical design mm -hmm. and she's using air nails. So you have to walk us through here. Well, I guess all of you do air nails. Yes. yes. So she's doing a, a similar thing to what you were doing. Yes. Only now she's using the bottom side of the uh, French masking. Mm -hmm. And that's really cool. Just filling up that space. Mm -hmm. Is she holding her finger in the other yeah, side? It, it looks so. Yeah. yeah. Well, it looks like that. Oh, you can use oh. your fingers as a masking. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And then one border. That's it's kind of like the same design you made, yeah. Yeah. Jessica. Yeah, but mm -hmm. a different take. Yeah. yeah. But this is also beautiful. And I, I prefer this when I talk about a simple nail art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. th these air types. Yeah, yeah, me too. Also and to do it with air nails, it's much more easy yeah. because I made this design as well with the yeah. liner gels. Yeah. This is much more easy and faster. But you have to really think about the placings of the maskings. Of the maskings, yes. You have to yeah. think about it. The different uh, curves and, and mm -hmm. lines. And, and now oh. she's adding huh? an extra border. She's using uh, a baby towels. Yeah. yeah. Wipes. Yeah. Wipes. Wipes. Yeah. Dry ones, and then uh, spraying over with white. Well, it's it's a little bit blue. Yeah. Just spraying it over. And then you will get a um, really cool effect. And just dots, blue, on top. Building up the blue in mm -hmm. different great gradient. And she had uh, a darker color underneath. And then you will have... Ta -ta -ta -ta. Cool, huh? It's, really it's cool. already cool, but yeah. now I have to see the yeah, whole thing yeah, because I ca I'm ki kind of lost. <laughs> how, how much time would this take in the salon, do you think, Jessica? Mm, if you know where to put everything, yeah. I think five minutes. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, it's very nice. That's yeah. cool. I like yeah. it. Again, oh, line fast liner. Fast liner gel. Yeah. Ah, that's, ah, that's a great idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And using a brush as well. She's using Jessica's Choice brush. Because uh, I always uh, saw it. Uh, they did it with a dotting tool. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. or a, a pinching. Uh, oh, here one of the stamping plates. Yeah. Cool. Small words. Super cool use of all those products together. Eh? Very yeah, nice. That's cool. yeah. You and me. Love it. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Real salon nail art. Yeah, it is. Real salon nail art. Katarina. As you can see, I think the must-have product of this show was the fast liner gel. Yeah. Sometimes we have products <laughs> in our range <laughs> that we kind of forget about and we have to take them back out of our drawers. Yeah. And also for you at home, take your nail art drawers and search them because sometimes you have stuff in there Little treasures. that is back. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, treasures, really. yeah. treasures that are needing that need to be found. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, next week we will have a show completely about baby, baby boom. boom, baby boom, the must-have nail I think 
in Europe. Everybody wants to have baby boom. And we will show you how to do this with power gel. We will show you how to do this with fiber coat, with normal gel and with acrylics. And you have an, a baby boom with a wink. So thank you for yes. watching us. And to end the show, we will have the new colors made by Magnetic Autumn Leaves. So at the end of the show, we have the commercial for Autumn Leaves. Thank you for watching. See you next time.